Hi everyone, I'm Christina Che. I'm an editor at Bon Appetit in New York. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a donabe. I'm gonna show you how to make a version that's using the vegetables I have at home right now and also a vegan dashi to go along with it. I'm gonna use things that I already have in my fridge. I'm trying to uh, not go out to the grocery store as much as usual these days. Uh, I'm just trying to stay at home as much as possible. So to start, uh, the most important thing is my donabe itself. I already have some dashi that I made yesterday. And this is made of nothing more than kombu seaweed and dried shiitake mushrooms. Everything else is just ingredients for the donabe itself, which is mostly fresh vegetables. So I have some shiitake mushrooms, some scallion. I'm gonna cut up a little bit of this uh, beautiful turnip. I have a handful of greens. This is just some kale. I have a little bit of cut up butternut squash, blanched uh, Swiss chard stems. So I have the cutest thing ever. This. I don't even know where this came from. I must have had some baby bok choy, so that's definitely going in there. Fresh firm tofu, some brown rice udon noodles, a little bit of soy sauce, and some rice cooking wine, some mirin. And that is everything in a donabe. You can use virtually any vegetable you have at home. Okay, so now that my vegetables are all cut up, I'm ready to put everything together. So I'm cooking a small pot of my brown rice udon noodles. Um, and then I also have my mushroom dashi broth, which I have strained and put into the donabe. And I'm just heating it over medium. Looks like it's nice and hot right now. So I am ready to add my vegetables. Because I have a couple of harder vegetables, um, like the squash and the turnips, I'm going to add those first. At this stage, I'm also going to add just a little bit of seasonings to my dashi broth. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of rice cooking wine or mirin. Okay, my noodles are done. I'm going to turn off the heat and strain these. I just finished it with a little bit of toasted sesame oil drizzled on top, a little bit of Japanese shichimi togarashi, as well as some fresh scallions. Very yummy. So um, I hope this was something that feels useful in your own home cooking. I hope you guys are, are staying at home, staying safe, and uh, most importantly, staying